been thrilled by the response. When Sports Illustrated named it the best novel of 2018, I just about fainted. You have a new book coming out that yes. a lot of us could learn a lot from. When the Men Were Gone is a novel based on a true story of a woman who coached football in Brownwood, Texas during World War II. Oh, how cool. Yeah, incredible woman. We've already optioned the, the film rights as well, and the book is doing really well. So I'm excited. Her name was Tylene Wilson. I've always thought of myself as a storyteller. Whether I'm telling the story in print or if I'm speaking it to someone, um, I love to tell stories. When someone picks up a book that I've written, I hope that they go on a journey with me. I hope that they feel like they are in the story themselves, that they feel like in this book, for example, I want them to feel like they're in Brownwood in the 1940s. What was happening in Brownwood at that time? President Roosevelt had brought in Camp Bowie for German soldiers. Uh, he had also converted their uh, airport into uh, an army airfield for them. A lot of things that were happening in Brownwood reflected what was happening around the country. One thing that I did once I knew I was going to write the story in first person was I decided to, in a sense, become an actress, sort of become Tylene. And I ended up, instead of writing during the day, I ended up writing at night. I, I would sit at my computer about midnight at the kitchen table and I would put on a uh, Brownwood letter jacket and put a picture of the real Tylene next to my computer and I would just tell the readers what Tylene would tell us. Well, I became a football coach because I was inspired by Tylene. And as I researched her life and started writing the novel about her, I just thought, you know, over the years I've been a student of the game. I've acquired the knowledge that I think I could help somebody. When you look at the story, what she was trying to do is keep the football going and not just every bit of the, of the town coming together would be for the war effort. They needed something else. They needed to keep their mind off of the war at least for three hours on a Friday night. Uh, the town come together and celebrate this something, the sense of community. Oh, I think Tylene was an incredible inspiration at her time, and her legacy can continue. She can be an inspiration for generations to come.